Hey, what's up? It's Trevor from Trevor's Games. Hopefully you guys uh, liked those assets you just saw. Uh, I just wanted to quickly go over how to use those assets um, in your own videos, in your own content. What you should have gotten is the zip folder um, overlays by Trevor's Games. If you have 7-zip or something like that, um, you'll be able to unzip it. So what we're going to do is we're going to extract the files. Um, you know, we'll just extract it here. Um, what we're gonna have is we have all of these here, a readme, just make sure you guys credit me um, when you guys put it in your in your videos and you guys use these in your videos. Um, so what we're gonna do is, I already loaded them into the Premiere, so what I'm gonna do is just show you kind of how to use each uh, each one. So this one, thumbs up, um, that's, that's the thumbs up one. This one does have an audio track, so be mindful about where you're placing the audio track um, because uh, that could mess up your own in-game audio or can mess up with your video audio. Okay, boom. So you could scale it down, you can move it. Um, I like scaling mine down maybe 85 just small just something small and then when you double click in premiere um, on the top layer it will you know it will become draggable so what I'd like to do is probably put it in the corner here but a good tip is to make sure you go to the frame where there you can at least see the circle because if you um, you know if you do something like this when you can't see the circle and then you kind of go out and you kind of don't really pay attention um, it's gonna get clipped on the side there and you know it's not really aesthetically pleasing that way so if you want to do it that way um, there we go you know we let's look at that just kind of right in the corner there you know, not too distracting, but, you know, drags the viewer's eye towards, uh, just reminding them to, to like the video. So the subscriber one is very similar to the, um, thumbs up one. Just make sure, be mindful about the, um, the audio track, uh, again, because it could, it could ruin your audio. Um, so it's kind of big. This is like, this one's kind of a glaring one. It does have that, uh sound or audio track so um, make sure that's not too loud or too quiet um, because that does also kind of add to the um, the animation so what we want to do for this one I think is maybe even scale it down to like 65 that way it's not so big it's not so in your face um, it's not so obnoxious but what I would say is when you do scale it down like this I would make sure that the um, bottom of the the bottom of the asset is on the bottom of the video itself otherwise um, when the cursor comes out it will just kind of you know come out of nowhere um, like that so I recommend you know make sure it's not I would put it in the corner bottom corner um, you can even you know cut off more of it um, just to make sure that you know you have it positioned the way you want it um, let's watch that one you know Let's see again not too intrusive not too long not too bothersome it's just there to gently remind your viewers to subscribe and ring the bell so with the lower thirds one um, these are a little bit easy or they're they're easier in some sense and then they're harder in a different sense um, so this one 
uh, is easy because there's no audio track to worry about. You can just kind of, you know, drag it in, doesn't even matter. So what we're gonna do with these is make sure we get to a frame where it's fully extended and then we're going to add a text file over. Um, what I would do actually first is make sure you're you're gonna you know turn this lower third into an actual lower third. I would probably go like 80% and you know actually move it to the lower third or something like that. So um, if that's gonna be where it is, make sure you position your place uh, position it first because it'll be just be easier in the long run. Um, so. It's not too difficult to change, but it's just easier to do this in the long run. Um, so, you know, we'll do youtube.com slash Trevor's games, and then we'll go to the text. Whoops, we'll go to the text. Um, Roboto 50 looks like it fits. So, um, you know, let's, let's move that around. So let's go over here, it's V, and we can move, we can, uh, there we go. All right. Um, and then what you want to do is go to the last frame um, or one of the last frames where it's still up. So this this long, um, the piece where the, the text goes is still up. So right here, there's a frame where it's still up. And then I'll trim to there. And then there's a nice, quick, easy cross dissolve. So if you go to the effects, just type in cross and then cross dissolve will come up. Just put that in the front and the back. Simple as that really. Um, put the overlay on, put the text on. Uh, you know, you can use cross dissolve if you want. You can have it just appear if you want to. It's up to you really. Um, but those those are all the, uh, the assets. Hope you guys enjoy those. Um, hope you guys use those in your videos to, you know, up the quality, make your videos even better. And, um, you know, keep, keep reminding your viewers that um you know to subscribe like and you know um just where they can find you because you know when you're watching youtube you're kind of enthralled in the video and you're not you know it's easy to forget to to like and subscribe um and do all that kind of stuff so it's it's a good good idea to remind your viewers to just you know like subscribe you know do all that stuff so um hopefully you guys like these and use them in your videos and likewise please um remember to subscribe like and do all that to my videos so thank you so much and uh, i appreciate it